got another new product for you today and I'm actually really excited about this one here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the steel hop-up chamber made for the M4. I believe they also work for the MSK and the L85. Um, this part here actually found me. I didn't find the part so uh, I can't really tell you where to get it at as of right now but uh, I can tell you that I do have it and that we're going to be uh, fitting it in this here M4 and we're going to be trying it out seeing how it works and uh, we'll go from there uh, When you get the part though when I got it it comes as so um, It comes with a screw also to screw it together and it comes with two little tabs here for your Hop up to sit in your upper um, You are going to have to use some parts from your stock hop up in order to install it such as the hop up arm You're going to have to use the uh, adjustment screw and you're also going to have to use your hop up nub uh, but with that said, let's take apart this uh, M4 here and uh, we'll get it installed. Now this here is the Aritech steel barrel. Uh, it's the only thing that's upgraded on this rifle. Everything else is stock. So it does have the adapter kit with it. As you can see, when I slide it off, this here is like a Western Arm style barrel and it comes with the adapter. You can buy these separately from RA Tech 2, uh, just as an FYI, if you want to use Western Arms style barrels, these are pretty nice to have. But, here goes the stock hop up, right here. It's a little loose in there, so it's a good thing I did take it out. Uh, but, let's get this thing disassembled. Now you're going to be using parts from this, such as your hop-up adjustment arm and the nub right here. So make sure that you keep them if you when this part does come out. And you're also going to need to use this here adjustment screw, so we're going to have to take that out as well. Alright, got that all out, so you're going to need those parts, and just to show the stock hop-up nub here is steel on the stock unit, but the unit itself is not. On the new one, it's completely steel, like so, and so are the nubs. Alright, now let's put this bad boy together. Insert our nub, like so. Put our barrel and rubber in there, sitting good, and screw it together. Alright, tighten her down. Like so. Seems to be tight in there, seems to have a nice fit. Uh, we're going to put our adjustment screw in now. Let me uh, grab that Allen key that fell down there. And I can feel it adjusting now, so it does give adjustment as you can see there. Slide our tabs in. Now I would suggest gluing them in, but for now we're just going to set them in there. Alright, now let's slide the unit back into here. Okay, seems like it is a tight fit. 
All right, it's going in pretty good here. All right, we got a tight fit here. It's not fitting in there well. I'm gonna have to see what's going on. Oh, nub's not in all the way. There you go. Slid right in. It's just that the nub wasn't sticky. The nub wasn't in all the way, so I had to just push the nub in so it fit in perfectly. No worries there, as you can see. Uh, that movement there is just a bolt pressing onto the hop-up unit itself. Uh, with that done there, though, we can put our barrel back on. So, and screw our delta ring back on. Now, we're going to be testing this outside. I'm going to be shooting a couple rounds through it here, and we're going to be seeing how it works with the aluminum nozzle as well. All right, so that's done. Let's see. Seems to be racking fine and sitting in there all right. So uh, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to take it outside. We're going to put some rounds through it here and uh, see what she does. All right there, YouTube. Uh, as you can see here, we have the M4 out here. Um, and we do have the steel hop-up unit there installed. Um, along with the stock bolt here with the stock nozzle. Uh, basically, we're going to run a couple rounds through this. Um, and then we're going to swap over to the aluminum nozzle and see how that does. Uh, what we're going to be looking for here is double feeds, misfeeds, jams, things of that nature uh, with the hop up unit. So, with that said, let's uh, put a mag in it and see what she does. It's not my first. Full auto. And she seemed to do well on that one. Put another mag through. No jam so far. Oh, got a jam? Nope. And it didn't lock back on that one. That's the magazine. Uh, with that said now, uh, give me one second here and I uh, will swap over to the aluminum nozzle and we'll see how that one does. Alright YouTube, back here again as you can see now we have the aluminum nozzle installed in there uh, and we also have the steel hop up unit still and we are going to run a mag through this now and see how she performs with the aluminum nozzle. Seems to be working good. Uh, all is well it seems, it seems to be performing well. Uh, no jams, no misfeeds. Um, had one magazine not locked back, but that's because of the uh, activator on the magazine. But other than that, uh, what we'll do now is we'll go back inside and we'll do some comparisons and uh, finish up the video. All right there, YouTube. Uh, before I give my final thoughts, I'd just like to say how excited I was to test this. This thing here is sweet. Um, especially with steel bolts and everything, you're not going to have to worry about your stock units mushrooming anymore if you were to grab this part here. I don't know when they're going to be released, and uh, I don't know uh, exactly how much they're going to cost. But when they are released, I guarantee you, you're going to be a happy person if you pick one of these bad boys up. Um, I thought the feed ramp was a bit different in design, but it's not. It's actually the same exact design as you can see. Nothing different at all. It's, the, it's an exact replica of the uh, stock, stock hop-up unit. Um, the other thing is, it's, if you ask my personal opinion, it's not CNC steel. Um, if you ask me, I believe, just by looking at it, it seems to be cast. Uh, nonetheless, it's still a steel hop-up unit. A um, couple things, too, uh, with the steel hop-up unit. i got the bolt here. The aluminum nozzle seems to fit really good. Like so. But with the plastic nozzle, the plastic nozzle seem to fit pretty tight, as you can see. That's just something to keep into consideration. It's not a bad thing. Um, it's just that it seems like the tolerances are better with the aluminum nozzle. And once again, I have the first gen nozzle here. And that seems to fit more or less like 
bolt's actually in between. Um, slides in and out perfectly. Uh, but like I said, it's a little tight with the stock nozzle here. As you can see. Um, but with that said, it seemed to perform pretty well. It went through all the rounds. Um, that one malfunction I had there was actually the trigger set malfunction. It wasn't anything to do with the hop-up unit. Um, and it seemed to be pretty good. The hop-up adjustment on it is the same as the stock hop-up unit. Um, it also seemed to adjust the hop-up itself pretty well. I uh, actually, when I installed it, I over-hopped it pretty good. Um, but that's just good to show that it does work well. Um, so tell me what you think of this part. Um, would you buy it? Would you consider buying it? I can tell you one thing. I would definitely jump on a couple of these when they are released. And uh, so let me know. And as usual, thanks for watching and stay true.